I am back. I am sorry. I am back. Happy New Year to all the ladies. Um, I wanted to come with you guys with this blueberry look. With the blueberry hair and the blueberry eyes and the blueberry outfit. Yes, I got the girls out. Yes, this is a club look. If you want to go to the club, a birthday, anything. I think the hair set this whole look off because I'm like, I want to do blue. Should I do purple? But I did blue instead. And I really, really, really F with it. I think it's really, really pretty. This is your gold on the cheeks this is your regular nude lip and this is your blue glittery eyes so i hope you guys like comment and subscribe this and sorry i'll be back i'll be more active i just want you guys to tune in tune in to this tune in to this look you gotta tune in if you want to see the rest of this look continue watching now period <laughs> So we're gonna jump into the brows. We're gonna spoolie out those brows. Make sure all the hairs is in place. Just spoolie them out. Make sure those coarse hairs are in place. We're just gonna start by the Ardell pomade. And I'm gonna go in and I'm gonna just do my brows a natural look. We're just gonna shape them out a bit. All the ups and the downs. So I'm gonna shape them up. Shape them in place. Make them look nice. Be shaping those brows out. Shape, shape, shape them. Just fill it a bit. Fill it those spots that has no hair. Fill it a bit. Squeeze them out. I'm gonna go in with my mix concealer. I'm gonna use my LA Girl Pro applicator because I love the applicator. It works fine for me. And whatever's not broken, don't fix it. So this is what I love to lose for my eyebrow. Go with this pull that brow out again. It's extra. Make sure everything is in the right place. Thank you. 
see it to the other eye. Blend out for your transition color. Just blend, blend, blend. Keep blending to your liking. Going back into the palette, I'm going to be using a lighter brown color just to blend out my transition at the top so it won't look so harsh. Just keep blending and whatever I do to the other side, I'm going to do to the other side as well. I'm going to go in back with that light brown and I'm going to blend out that transition color. I'm gonna be doing like a fake cut crease on my lid. I'm gonna be using my applicator tip just to carve out where I'm gonna put my eyeshadow, or rather, more a pigment. and I'm going to blend out any mistakes that I made with the concealer. I believe my sister gave me this MAC pigment. I did one eye, but I'm going to come back and do the other. Again, I'm using my LA Girl Pro Concealer Toffee. And this time, I'm using poke myself in the eye as you can see I'm using my back pigment in teal blue I believe this was the best because I was supposed to put an eyeshadow on but I am using my primer blue by NYX and I'm going to go on at the top of that with the pigment I'm just going to spread that on but please if you're using a loose pigment like this please make sure you use the eyeshadow under it so it won't look so opaque because this is not the look that I was going for but I just went along with it hated it out removing any pigment that's all out everywhere I'm just gonna remove it now I'm gonna jump right into the foundation I'm using my Maybelline 5360 this is the color that I'm gonna be using if I can find it just gonna put it lines I feel like lines work better than just you know, put it on a brush and dab it in your face. Basically, when you put this on your face like this, you get it in all the areas. So when you blend it out, you'll just get every area. There's some areas that you missed. So this is cool to do it like this. Do it any way you want, but this is what I prefer. I'm gonna go in with my buff brush. I'm gonna buff and blend, buff and blend, buff and blend all over my face. I'm gonna buff and blend that out. I don't know if that's a little orange, but I promise you I am not orange. When I do my highlight and everything, you guys will see. I always have to set my face. One, I only do one coat of foundation, so I have to set it. put everything in the description but I basically highlighted all points of my face I'm gonna go with my real technique blending brush well blending sponge <laughs> I'm gonna go in it just blends everything out anything you do to the other side you do on the other side so I'm just blending everything out <laughs> Very important that you guys blend. I'm gonna go in with my Sasha Buttercup and just set those areas that I did blend. It's very important that you guys do this because you don't want to get creases, you don't want to be oily in your T-zones. 
down for the gold in with this after dark palette. It's the color blue with there. It's like electrical blue. It's called Paralyzed. I'm just using it under my waterline because I felt like I just needed something extra to give it a little pop. So I'm just doing that at the moment. Just going under my eyes. Sitting here dancing. Just sitting here dancing. Say goodbye little songs. The gold through the mascara under my eye. This is wet and wild. I believe I forgot the name of that. I have to put everything in the description below. So please do that right now. This is Juvia's place. Nubia's loose highlighter is such the bomb. Like, I love it. I use it for my brow bone, and I use it for all points of my face. If I had a collarbone, I will be using it for that, too. <laughs> I'll be having a collarbone, so watch out for that. <laughs> I'm just going to go in under my brow bone. Spoolie it out those brows. Spoolie in the mouth again. Now my favorite part is coming up. My highlighter is on the cheeks. Period. Oh my God, do you see? Do you see? This is so golden. I love golden highlighters. It just compliments me so well. As you can see, I'm so amped. <laughs> Sitting here dancing, mad annoying. Going in on the other side of my cheek. Making sure everything is the same. Love, love, love this part. They talking about sus. <laughs> Let's go in with that. Make sure everything is blended in. Always set. I'm a setter, okay? I set for that, okay? Okay. I'm gonna go with my ruby kisses. I believe this is a champagne gold. It's one of their that has like loose like glitters in it. It's very pretty. I love it. Yeah, I'm gonna go there with my Victoria's Secret. I don't even know what um, blue gloss this is, but I know it's like reflects different color like of the rainbow. Okay. <laughs> Alright, I am done. Please like, comment, and subscribe. I be telling y'all all the time. And you know what we try to do. Y'all better like my stuff. Subscribe. Thank you so much for watching. I have more videos on the way. So just keep watching and tell me what you guys like in the comment section below.